Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be drawing Yuki Hira Soma from Shige Shingeki no Soma or Food Wars as it's called in English. A lot easier to say. Um, this is requested by Jealous K on Patreon. So if you have a request, you really, really, really need me to do super quick, head on over to Patreon. If you can afford it, of course, sign up and you can message me the image you want me to draw. Message me directly and I'll get right on it. So um, let's go. Landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. We'll start with his eyes. Find the center and the eyes for Yuki Hira are going to be right along the center line of my page, right? So we'll go diagonal. Diagonal first, and then we'll go across like so, and then we'll bring it back down the side and back down to here. And you can thicken up top line. Sometimes there's extra sort of lines sticking off, but you know, like that kind of stuff. So, and then his iris and pupil, and like there's a little bit of a bottom eyelid. It's like a line just underneath his iris, just down here, just like curves around, but nothing major. And then his iris and his pupil, big, like so, and his pupil, like so. So, I here measure the distance and then it comes across like so. And we start the other one. So it comes up across. And we bring it down the other side, back into there. And then you thicken up this eyelid line. Just thicken it up a li little bit, just gives it extra weight. And add some extra lines there. Then his iris. Like so, just sort of curves around. And his pupil. It's kind of a big ish sort of pupil. It's kind of. And it's kind of long. And the bottom eyelid just comes down and across, just there. Mm -hmm. Just try and even up the pupils, I guess. Okay, so. He has a headband that comes across his head, right? So we'll draw that before we add eyebrows, right? So it's just like curves across his head. Like so, okay? And then he's got like some hair that sticks down the front in the middle, just here. Like so. And then like his eyebrows go underneath, right? In there. And I think his eyebrows are black. Like so, and then the other one sort of will go in underneath his hair as well. Just that way. And then you could add like eyelid line going across the top of his eye. Right, so then his nose. So pretty simple. It kind of comes down like this at first. And then you leave a gap and it comes down a little bit further, just two lines. And then we have a nostril, tiny on that side. And then yeah, they actually draw in the shadow for his nose on this side. Like so. Right, so then his mouth, so he's smiling, open mouth sort of smile, right? So 
curve line across up to the other side. You could leave it a closed mouth smile if you wanted, but if you wanted to open it up, just add a bottom line like so. And then we'll add like a bit of a shadow back here and some teeth and some teeth. So his chin, quite a pointy chin. So comes down and up there. Check proportion is the thing now. Eyes to nose is about the same as nose to chin. So here to here, see the middle of his eye to his nose, about the same as nose to chin. And then nose to bottom lip, about the same as bottom lip to chin. Okay, that's approximate proportions for the human face. And then once you get that, you can do his jaw. Up like so. Right, and you're stopping just like underneath the edge of his eyes. See that? We're in here. Just like, because that's where it sort of changes direction. It goes up the side of his face. Right. And in this character design, we don't go the whole way up. It can, but it seems like it sort of stops and then the ear comes out here. Right? And then this the ear goes up underneath his headband. Like so. And slightly similar on the other side doesn't have to be exactly the same so like that ear can go under the headband that one can like stick out a little bit more and then there's like hair spikes here goes up like so and maybe some more just hair here and then some more hair spikes here coming out from underneath his head Maybe another one there. And bones and ligaments on the inside of his ear. Like so. And then on the other side, same sort of thing. Like so. Right, so then we'll do finish off his headband, just comes up a little bit, and then he's got like hair that comes all across it, right? So the middle of the headband is just about here. And then we have hair spikes coming down, right? Like so. Another one here. Going down there, and then more on this side. Like so, and then this will have like so, and maybe this should be a little bit higher up actually. better this could be just like an edge line full line four lines on his headband like so right so then more hair coming out from behind his ear coming up this way like so So, 
and then we start to go up like this and then over to there and then he starts to go over around the other side So, and then there's some that come out from behind his neck, so we need his neck to be in. So we draw in the neck, so like so, neck, so like so, and then, so the ones that are behind his neck go down his jaw, in behind his neck. And then we have like neck muscle just there, and then his t shirt will come out from behind. So it'll go out and down this way, and then out around the front. And then out around this way, and then come around the front again. So we'll like go across here. Like so, so this was a bit of a mistake. I'll just erase that. Right, so then his shoulder, so this comes out down, comes across. So like so. So we got like his knife here, but we'll we'll I'll we'll draw in the shoulder and then we'll see what happens. So his shoulder comes out and down. This way, shoulder comes out like so, down this way. Okay. So then he's like he's holding his knife coming across. So let's see, we'll do we'll do just like some extra sort of t-shirt lines and stuff first. So these are like his armpits coming across like so. Right, so then the knife, so he's like his hand is coming across here, right? So you could leave it like that if you wanted. You could finish the t-shirt and you're done. But we'll add um, a hand just coming up out here. So it comes up like so. And like the hand sort of comes out like this diagonally. that and then we have like a knuckle there and then a knuckle comes up and across his finger right so then finger comes down like that comes back in and then meets the next finger so it comes down this way it goes in and then we got like some finger lines here there and this comes out Down like so into there and then this finger like that 
like so. So the handle is going to go through here, and then we, he has an index finger right on top, right? So the index finger just comes out like so. And it's going to go pretty straight, bumping maybe every now and then. Like so. And then we'll bring it down around. Down like that. And then he could have an index fingernail just on top, right? And we'll bring his t-shirt just to meet that line. So a ruler might be helpful for this, right? So top of, so it comes out this way. And it starts to curve around just at his shoulder. So we'll go like there. And this will go, it kind of curves to a point back there. And then this will curve back down like so. And then it gets relatively straight, sort of back this way. So it comes down to about here. Like that. And then this goes in. To his hand and then we have curve line there curve line here and then this comes out down into there and then thumb on that side hand palm of his hand there and then this line has another curve on it and it just goes down like so. And then I'll raise the line just for his shoulder that we shouldn't see inside the blade. Okay, but I think that's everything. That is how to draw Yuki Hiro Soma from, oh wait, <laughs> not everything. You got these white lines. That was close. Boom, so white line here. And there. Okay, that's everything. Yuki Hiro Soma. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful, Jealous. See you in the next one. Bye.